Well, welcome, Eric. How are you? I'm doing great, George. How are you doing? Good. This is our first meeting after a little bit of work that you accomplished. Yes. So I thought we would talk about, since this is the coach's coach, yep. one topic, I would have the topic, uh, and then I would hand it off. You would get your topic and you talk about whatever you want. Then we go back and forth. So I'd like to start, the topic I would like to start with is a little bit of strive for perfection. What does that mean? And I think in order, when you go into a company and you're consulting with an organization, you have to know what the worker wants, what their vision of the future is. So I would normally ask, you know, tell me a little bit about yourself, get to know them, and uh, give me the current condition and the desired condition for you a year from, from now, like a year out. Where do you want to be in your life? That's what I would ask them. Where do you want to be in your life? And that gives me an idea of what they want. And I usually say, focus on the company. So in this case, I'm going to ask you, Eric, uh, now and 11 or 12 weeks from now, you have this project done. What is the current state of the project and what do you want to see? So describe the project. That would be step one. Go ahead, Eric. Awesome. Well, so what we're looking at is around a 1200 square foot renovation, basement renovation, uh, which we're looking at maybe four phases. I've got a uh, storage room that's not built out that I'd love to turn into a bedroom. We got the, the grandparents coming in town stuff. We need, we need a place to put them. We've also got a small bathroom and a kitchen as well as a, a large accent wall. It's about 30 feet long, an accent wall that we're going to demo and, and remodel. And my vision is to really uh, fix up all this. I got a wall that's falling apart, a storage space that I can't sleep any grandparents and an old bathroom that, that really needs a, a reno. And while we're at it, we can upgrade the kitchen. So the vision is to have something, a really nice space at the end of the day that uh, is, is on time and uh, under budget. Great. So can I give you some homework for next week? Yes, please. Other than what you have, I'd like you to take a video, use your finger, you know, like, uh, uh, you know, some experts do and say this area, the current condition, you could see what it is and describe it. There's stuff on the shelf, etc. Next week, this area is going to be completely clear. So do a video talking about current condition and use the language. Here's the current condition and here's our target condition for next week or even for the end of the project. It depends how far out you see. So can you do a video of each area, current condition and target condition for some point in time? Sounds great. Okay. And then we'll have a good idea what you're trying to accomplish. All right, George, we've got about four phases of work that I'm thinking we need to look at. The first area is gonna be your bedroom, followed by the bathroom, the kitchen, and this long accent wall. So let's go take a look at those spaces. So this is our first area of work. Currently it's a storage space, which we're gonna turn into a bedroom. There is a, a fire access window, which is awesome, um, but we are gonna rip all this stuff out and turn this into a bedroom. Right now, this is a ton of storage for us, so we've got some other places we're gonna move, but basically this whole entire wall is gonna get ripped out and uh, rebuilt here so we can get that additional space in the room. This doorway might be adjusted a little bit and there's an adjacent closet to this area that we might end up ripping out depending on the layout of the closet for the bedroom. Uh, the vision is a nice uh, quiet place that somebody can come stay. We don't uh, anticipate people staying in there for very long, um, but uh, we, the vision is to make it into a nice, a nice bedroom. Our next area of work is this bathroom remodel and it was built in uh, 87, so we've got some really old finishes, and what we'd like to do is basically gut the whole thing, um, even pull the ceiling out and redo some of, of, of the vents and, and ducts, and uh, put in heated flooring, a larger shower, nicer vanity, nicer toilet, and uh, uh, just make it look a little cleaner. Here's our other area we're gonna be working on. This kitchen here is 
built when that bath the bathroom was back in 87 and the finishes just need to get updated nothing major but we'd like to bring it up to date uh, maybe uh, change the position of of the refrigerator and redo some of of the cabinets a little bit put some things some stuff overhead um, change the flooring out but this will be our, our second phase of work not sure if we're doing it with the bathroom or after the bathroom so this is our fourth stage of work here. This is our architectural wall. This wall, uh, these bookshelves are starting to fall out. These dividers are kind of moving out of place and uh, whoever put this together didn't do a really good job assembling it. So we're gonna rip this whole thing out. We're gonna integrate some kind of fireplace into this area here, uh, some level of TV screens, um, a bar of some type, maybe a dartboard above it. Not quite sure what the design's gonna look like, but one of our biggest challenges with this area is in this bottom left area, we have got our HVAC intakes. So we're most likely gonna have to remove these two very large intakes and put them around the side of the wall. But until we rip this whole thing out, we're really not gonna know um, what we have behind it. There is some storage space behind this side, some stairwell down here, but the, the HVAC is really tight to the wall. So um, until we start pulling some stuff apart, we're not gonna know uh, how big of a chore it's gonna be.